Hi Virgo, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These messages are general, so they may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate with you, you can always check your other placements to see what else comes up. So looking at you and your person and seeing how they feel about you, what their next move is going to be and so on. So let's see, what's this person's energy towards Virgo? Could be dealing with a Leo. We have strength. Show me this person's energy. This person feels like they're waiting for you. They feel like they're waiting. Some of you may <laughs> be keeping them waiting. It seems that the message I'm getting for a lot of you <clears throat> is that now this person is waiting, but when there was a time when you were offering them your love and they weren't accepting it. So it's like this person is someone who is wanting what they can't have or wanting you now because they can't have you. There is someone who's who's wanting to communicate or will be soon wanting to communicate with the Eight of Wands. So I guess, uh, let me see. <laughs> What's Virgo's energy towards this person? just make sure what I'm seeing is right Sagittarius energy some of you are waiting for the right one or the right moment you're holding back until you see who is right for you or meet the right person either seeing if this person is right for you or seeing if someone else comes along you got this nine of swords I can see that some of you are dealing with some anxiety there could have been a recent past situation that caused you a lot of anxiety or a lot of pain. What's the recent past energy for Virgo? Yep, six of pentacles. Giving a lot of yourself in a relationship. Some of you may have given yourself, given a lot of yourself to someone too soon or like all at once. You may have done a lot for someone at some point in the recent past and it may have been a huge favor that you did for this person or you could have just given a lot of yourself in this connection without really having the equal effort being given back to you or put back into the relationship by this person what's the energy of the relationship for Virgo the energy of this relationship Someone is pulling away here in this connection. Nine of Swords again. Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> so I'm seeing that I'm seeing that you're really wanting to get away from anything that makes you feel this Nine of Swords energy. So it could be that you are currently kind of pulling away from this connection to avoid um, the negative feelings. And the more you pull away, the more this person wants to be with you all of a sudden. So let's see. Give me some, oh my gosh, okay. Half the deck falls out. <laughs> Give me some insight for Virgo and their connection. Any messages for Virgo? Why do you always get girl with a snake? Empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used, enable and boundaries. This does seem like someone who, it just seems like they, they want you more when you don't want them. We have passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. You might meet someone like this. Or it could be that when you do connect with this person, it's really good, but then it can go really bad for some of you. We've got talking, interest, no, interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, and email. We do have this page, and we have the page of wands come out earlier. 
they might reach out i see that they're waiting for you but they might end up reaching out to you because maybe you're not really reaching out to them i do see that you have the four of pentacles so you're not really given as much as you did in the recent past when it comes to this person you, you've pulled you've pulled in the reins and you're like nope i'm gonna wait for the one or i'm gonna wait for you to prove that you're the one kind of thing so here we have love unconditional love self-love oneness passion affection attraction it seems like you're focusing on loving yourself but there's also this kind of there's kind of like a, a love situation creeping in i don't know if it's this person or if it's a new person who's coming in but it does look like there's some talking flirting liking each other i just don't know if it's with this person so let me see what's going on with the person you're dealing with all right person that virgo is dealing with show me how they feel about virgo what's their next move what can virgo expect from this person okay nine of cups I do see them coming on strong for some reason. Show me this person's energy towards Virgo. Yep, three of cups. All of a sudden they wanna reconcile. But then there's the fear of intimacy that this person has. Page of Swords. So another message. There's you're gonna be in a lot of communication very soon with this person or with whoever, but there's a lot of pages coming out for you. We've got um, three of cups. This person is wanting to reconcile with you, but I feel like it's always, it's always when they can't, when they feel like they can't have you or if they're losing you. In the wishes, we've got the five of wands and the fears, we've got the two of cups. So this does look like someone who's very like conflicting. They have a fear of intimacy. They have a fear of being, of getting too serious but when when they can't have you they start running towards you trying to pull you back to them but there seems to be i feel like if you do um if you do meet someone new or if you are talking to someone new they they will get upset about it they just seem very like hmm it's like they sometimes how do i put it <laughs> when they can't have you they're ready to fight for you they don't want anyone else to have you but then when they have you they take you for granted it's what i saw earlier it's what i'm seeing now their next move they might rush towards you suddenly so they might suddenly reach out to you this knight of swords the tower in the position of what you need to know this could be their reaction to your new love or you flirting with other people. It could be, it could trigger a tower moment for this person, making them want to automatically suddenly come back to you. We've got the pay, sorry, the wheel of fortune as how they see the relationship. This is them having hot and cold mixed feelings about the relationship. One minute is this, the next minute is that. So their feelings towards the relationship very a uh, very changey all right there could be a libra we have the five of swords as what's blocking five of swords and five of wands these are both about conflict these are both about someone walking away someone trying to get away from the conflict so the fact that you're picking up on their negative side and you're trying to distance yourself from it this is what's blocking them and making them start to feel rejected, okay? Let me see what your side of things looks like. How does Virgo feel about this situation? Show me Virgo's energy. 
show me Virgo in this situation. could I guess that the seven of swords is coming out I, I just feel like you are you are walking away from this like you're trying to avoid what brings you any kind of negative feelings you're you're knowing that they want to reconnect because you're seeing them as a as a six of cups so you know that this person from your past is trying to return or is on the verge of returning You might start to see like you might see them come in it's kind of weird how i how that just came to me it's like hearing someone you know like if someone was like if your mom when you're a child if you are upstairs playing and making noise you can kind of hear when your mom is storming up the stairs getting ready like angry getting ready to you know tell you guys off that's what i've seen with this person it's like some of you are going to start to see little signs that this person is pissed off a little bit maybe they'll post something indirectly about it but you'll 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 pick up that they're coming back and that they're not so happy you'll pick up before they even reach out to you like you'll <laughs> you'll see it you'll see signs of it happening so i see for the most part that you're trying to get away from this and you're seeing this relationship as a headache nine of swords again for you you keep getting the nine of swords it's giving you a headache it's stressing you out we've got the eight of wands page of swords again there is an a, an awaited message coming whoever it's from there's something coming eight of swords a lot of you know you could just block this person and leave but some of you are kind of giving them time i guess but you kind of don't want that sudden um, conflict or the sudden pile of stress, another pile of stress being dumped on you again. We've got the eight, we've got three eights here. It's kind of weird. Eight of swords, eight of wands, eight of cups. Um, what's blocking is the fact that you have emotionally distanced yourself. And I do feel like, I feel like a lot of you don't know how you feel about this person anymore. It's hard to tell is what I'm hearing. We have 10 of swords as your next move. Some of you are just, some of you are gonna accept the end and hold out for the new beginning, hold out for the new person or some kind of new beginning here with the 10 of swords. This is like accepting that something is, is ending so that something new can begin. We have the, the, the king of swords and strength. Outcome is you realizing how strong you are, thinking that you, thinking that this was gonna kind of crush you, but it didn't. You kind of got through it, made it through, in one piece. And position of what you need to know, the King of Swords. I'm getting two messages from this. One is that you have the strength of the King of Swords, and two is that this person. <laughs> kind of acts like they don't have um, a lot of emotion going on but you'll see you'll see their emotion being expressed very soon For some reason i'm getting some kind of earache i feel like i'm feeling your, your actual headache <laughs> and i don't get headaches so that's weird but we've got the hanged man here you're gonna start seeing things differently very soon you're gonna start seeing this for what it is maybe you're dealing with a narcissist maybe this person just has narcissistic tendencies but you're gonna start to see see it for what it is and realize you know what you need and what you don't need what you want and what you don't want in your life so give me love messages for virgo oh it flirts and you like hearted energy you see this is exactly what's gonna piss this person off you flirting but i'm not saying you shouldn't i'm just saying it's gonna piss them off <laughs> let's see express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture i do feel like 
they might express some kind of feelings or you might just start to see through their king of swords mask it's like they won't be able to hold back how they feel um especially if you're flirting with other people they might not be able to hide their jealousy so we have love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive this could be advice for you but it could also be that your person struggles with insecurity we have made the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take Any messages of very well <laughs> so we have there's something better and some of you know that we have the situation will improve it landed in reverse i'm thinking do i take it as that some people it may be that it may be that the situation with them won't improve but your love situation will and it could be that this situation improves it depends on your situation but communicate clearly if, if you believe so whatever you decide to do you have to let this person know whether or not you're going to be with them i do see them getting upset about something so i guess you'll have to lay down the law and tell them what you want and what you don't want so we got libra energy here could be a libra and leo we only have these two we had um temperance so that's sagittarius we got gemini libra aquarius mostly air signs what the hell mostly air signs we have and leo and sagittarius as fire signs that's it mostly but it could be any sign those are just the ones that are coming through the strongest so virgo this is what i'm seeing for you your person may come at you like a like a wrecking ball yeah a wrecking ball but <laughs> you'll hear them come in and you'll be prepared okay and you know just expect that there could be someone someone on their way into your life someone better something better okay so check your other placements if you want to know what else to expect leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new to the channel thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one